Okay, this is just a short video to show you how to set up your AdWords account so that you can use their free keyword planner. Pop along to um, Google and just search for AdWords and you want to click on this top organic result here, um, pay-per-click online. Now it will just ask you to start. If you are already logged into Google, um, you might you if you've set up a, an AdWords account previously, obviously it will all it will take you straight in. So <clears throat> I'm going to put an email address in here. Okay. And it tells me it recognizes that if if this email address that you choose here isn't already associated with a Google login. Um, so, for example, if you for when you if you've done um, your Google Plus profile, your Google Plus page, um, it will tell you you need to create one. Um, but I imagine most of you have probably got a Google login already, in which case you won't get this screen. I'll just fill in these details. I'll pause the video for a second and then come back to the next stage. I've created my login and I've verified my Google account. And what it's done is it's taken me to this page here where it's saying, we recommend AdWords Express for your business. Based on the info you shared, we recommend AdWords Express, blah, blah, blah. You don't want to do AdWords Express because you won't be able to have access to the Keyword Planner. So you want to make sure you click this and switch to AdWords here. Okay. So set your daily budget to one penny. This is you know, we're not going to you're not going to be spending and you won't have any active ads anyway, but that's just a bit of a safety net just in case if you set your your budget to a penny a day. Oh, okay, pound a day. <laughs> Maybe let me do any less. 10p, 10p a day. That'll do. Just as the, whatever the lowest is that it will let you do, just put that in there, okay? And what it will do, um, because I had to put my website in, it will just, it won't, it won't, it'll, it'll suggest keywords. Just um, save everything that it's suggesting, okay? We don't need to do anything here. Um, you'll have to write a quick ad. Just, just, oh dear me, SEO for beginners. It doesn't really matter, you could just put gobbledygook in here. Um, and, 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 okay, put anything in here. And say, I always uncheck this, but that's a personal preference. Okay, now you will need to put your billing information in. Uh, it won't let you continue without it. Um, and it has to be valid billing information. Okay, so I'm just going to pause the video a moment while I fill all this in and I will be back in just a sec. Okay, I've put my billing details in and now it's brought me to this screen here where it's asking me to review my campaign. Okay, so agree to the terms and conditions. And you'll need to then check your um, email and confirm confirm your email address with them verified my email um, and it's taken me here to say um, that they've created my account okay now it does take a they are off now approving my ad so actually that's that's a reason to sort of not put gobbledygook in your email try, try and make it look reasonably um, um, genuine but here you just take if it, you just ask them to take you to your account Come on. <clears throat> then you'll get to your campaign dashboard where you would normally manage all your AdWords account, all your ads. And there we go. And all you need to make sure that you do is this is yeah, cancel. This is the exit. This is the, the, the campaign that you set up with the one advert in it. Just make sure you go here and set it to paused. And that's it. Now you're not spending any money on ads 
and you don't have to worry about about uh, about your budget being used. So to get to the keyword planner, you just go up here to tools, and keyword planner is here. Okay, so that's how to set up your AdWords account so that you've got your free keyword access to your free keyword planner.